Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, and as you know, I love books. Books are great, great for information. Um, you can get a lot of information from a book that can be very educational, and I'm always excited about what the iPad is able to do with books. Um, the Kindle, the problem with the Kindle as an ebook reader is that it was less interactive than paper and pencil that you could mark up. The new iPad and the book apps. Forget the iBookstore, I mean that's kind of nice too, but the book apps that are out there. I've shown you a Toy Story. Well today I want to show you one that's even more interactive that I think shows a lot of potential of what can happen when books are put onto a device like this. Now the book I want to show you is a book called Pop Out, The Tale of Peter Rabbit. Now it's about $4.99, but you know if you buy any book for kids, it's going to be at least $4.99. Uh, and this book is far more interactive. Let me show you a little bit about it. So I come over here and I tap on it right there, pop out Peter. There you go, it's got great music. You have choices here for it to read to you, or you can slide that up and say read to myself. I'm gonna say read to me so you can hear what that's like. Um, that's Peter. Peter. <laughs> and you can learn words, you can learn spelling too. You can tap on it. A Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. Now if you caught that, but when it was reading it, it was actually sh highlighting the words that it was saying. Let me show you for instance. Let me type, let me tap on Peter. 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 Rabbit. Rabbit. There you go. But there's a lot more things you can do. So you can learn about reading. You can watch as it says it. And Peter. You can also tap things and see what happens. Kind of moves around, so it's kind of interactive and you can't tear it off. What over here? Tea, tea set. Little things you can do that are a lot of fun. You want to tap to the next page, just slide it over. Once upon a time there were four little rabbits and their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother in a sandbank underneath the root of a very big fir tree. So you see the potential here for them to be able to learn how to read because it highlights each word as it says it and they start to recognize words. And if they aren't sure they want to check on a word then they can just tap on it. Lived underneath, lived with their mother. There you go. And you can also do things over here, of course. <laughs> and also, you can add, make leaves fall, get big ones, and you can actually spin those around. Woo! <laughs> so you can do lots of fun things like that. There's a page down here I think is really great, is where they're Flopsy, in the... Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who are good little bunnies, went down blackberries. Okay, so here the berries come down, and if you catch them, you get big ones that pop out. And they try to catch them, and then when they get them, they can move them around if they want, make them go. You can also go and splash them. <laughs> and the kids just have a blast with this. So not only are they doing fun things, uh, but they're also learning at the same time. So it's kind of a mix of the best of both worlds, uh, the interactivity that you can do with these things. And you can pick up where you left off. Lots of possibilities here. Very quietly off the wheelbarrow and started running as fast as he could go along a straight walk behind some black currant bushes. <laughs> Mr. McGregor caught sight of him at the corner, but Peter did not care. Okay, back to the he slipped main page. underneath the gate. So you see the potential there for what can be done with some of these apps. I think it's a great little program. Some people have complained about it on the uh, iTunes uh, thing that it didn't work. The first version, 1.0, had some bugs and it kept crashing. But the new version, 1.1, does work. The only glitch I found is after I upgraded to the iPad OS 4.2, the audio wasn't working. But I found by booting down my iPad and starting to back up, it worked just fine. Now what I mean by booting, and I'll show you how this works so that you can do this, is the power button that's over here on the side. You just push and you hold that down. And we'll push and hold. There you go, until you get this screen. And it says slide to power off. This is a way to fully reboot your machine, okay? It doesn't do this when you boot it into, say, necessarily in iTunes. It doesn't do it when you just turn it off with the normal button with a quick click. The only way to do this is to actually go through this. I'm gonna click cancel in this case. But that's a way for you to reboot your machine. When I did that, then the audio was working just fine. I think it's a great little app. There's lots of these programs out there for you to check out. I encourage you to get that for uh, anyone that you know has an iPad and children uh, or is curious about what can happen with books. Uh, share this video with them. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the show. If you have questions, feel free to send them to me at questions at askthetechies.com.